and I'm very disappointed because today I actually got more details on what the president said. The president, you know, when he was walking towards her, he was upset and he charged towards her and he said, this is indiscipline. How can you call me a liar? The president said that. This is indiscipline. But there was nothing indiscipline about the conduct of the member of parliament. If you look at how... Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers. I mean from start to finish to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Hey Mambirima, yeah, the member of parliament for Mambirima. The member of parliament for Mambirima. What is my comment? Frankly speaking, uh, for me, that is how it should be. Members of parliament must be able to exercise their right to express themselves. So, for me, I commend the honorable member of Mambirima. I commend her. And I'm very disappointed because today I actually got more details on what the president said. The president, you know, when he was walking towards her, he was upset and he charged towards her and he said, this is indiscipline. How can you call me a liar? The president said that. This is indiscipline. But there was nothing indiscipline about the conduct of the member of parliament. If you look at how other members of parliament conduct themselves, including Britain, including the Senate, in America, you see, you watch how they grill, you know, their opponents or their opposition. You see how they grill. You see what they say. Now, the problem that we have in this government, they want to turn the members of parliament like school children. They are acting like, you know, like it's a boarding school. And Vaneli Muti, she's a matron who wants to uh, uh, chest chastise the 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 the, 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 the members of parliament. You you cannot be scolding members of parliament, gagging members of parliament. It is wrong. Look at look at what happens in in, in South Africa. Eh? In South Africa, it is even hot. But go even more Britain. Watch what happens, you know, in the House of Commons. What happens there? Watch. There is serious debate here, and people express themselves. But in Parliament, yes, we want to make it like it's a, it's a boarding school where people have to be restricted. So that woman, what she said was very good. She expressed herself. Because in parliament you have to speak. Basatawale bat pale kulanda. No more than the thing. You have to say what you think. You have to express yourself. Mume mu parliament kulanda. And that's why they have been given immunity. In parliament they have been given immunity. Why they have been given immunity is because they want them to express themselves. They want them to say whatever whatever they have to say. And not to be not to face the law when they go outside. So that is nothing but the kind of parliament that we should have. Look, look in South Africa, a president is told off. Even in Namibia, you know, the, 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 the former leader. I I will share some of the clips so that you see what happens in some of the, uh, other countries in terms of parliament. I will share some of these clips um, tomorrow. I think I'll share about three or four, uh, you know, just to show you how members of parliament take on the ruling party, whether it's a minister, whether it's a president, they take them on. But yesterday, 
Oh, on, the, on that day, not yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yes, it was yesterday. Today is what? Today is Saturday. And went to her, you know, to try and intimidate her, to say that is indiscipline. There is nothing here like indiscipline. You are a liar. You are a liar. So, Umuntu Ngakovachi, you are a liar. You are a liar. There is nothing in discipline about it. There is only the truth. And this is what we are suffering. When we tell them the truth, they get upset. They start bringing charges. They start bringing guns to our house. They start breaking into our house. And that is a dictatorship that I've been talking about. And I told you at the beginning, even before Waka Inde Chirima came into power, I used to say that this man is a dictator. I used to say it. Except that we are PF now, we are which made me at the end of the day say, let them just, let Haka Inde Chirima himself go in. Because we are PF, we are Kule Nitwe. And I want you, me, I'm aging. When I talk here, I talk so that you people can, 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 can realize and do something about it. No matter how much you may want to pretend, no matter how much you may want to pretend, including you are pressing, Vahaka Inde Ichirema is a ruthless leader. Is a ruthless leader. Look at how many people are patronizing Kumakot. Kumakot kuli kwati ni kwati ni kwati ni 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 pa epidemic center. Eh? There is an epidemic and now this is an epidemic center like Filachi wa kuli korela. Eh? Kuli korela now mumushi and people are just going there. That is how our courts have become. And then unfortunately even our courts you know, you can say, no, you are hoping for justice. But our courts are compromised. We are very good magistrates and very, very good judges. But this government ha has taken over everything. They have instilled fear in our magistrates. They have instilled fear in our, uh, in our judges, which is very wrong. And you see, this is, it brings me down to the next question. Where my brother, so I think I've answered you, my brother, to say, what he, that member of parliament for Mambirima did, that is how it should be. And I'm encouraging members of parliament that Muirati, now you are voted by the people. Neri Mutu was not voted. Neri Mutu cannot even win an election. She can't win an election. Even if she powered, she can't win. She has never won an election. Eh? Even in the United States, State Council, Neri Mutu, what has she con contributed to the jurisprudence? What has she contributed? What has she contributed? Ten to one ama cases were nearly mutu watchta act. Where she represented people. The only case that she represented people, Badi Yanenda Rama Shamanan can Shama Ishamanan can Isha Awama Amaritaris, Kachinga Maritaris, Namari trenches. Eh? So there is nothing honorable about Vanedi Mut in terms of law. But because Vaka in the HMA is in power, he has conferred on her at State Council. State Council Yahu Puba. The state council yabu puba tayirole le mukro ababe ne banani kana tibanani ba haimbe finish vachita eh we have got senior lawyers senior lawyers senior lawyers eh senior lawyers they are not state councils no babu state council wa wa ngai ichi as long as you are a president senior kuku per state council state council state council some of the lawyers that way that, that go to that state, uh, uh, state council tapali mama cases no vachita handle State Council is a recognition covered out, but when our womba, Ulimuaume, or Muanakashi. This is what you have contributed. You have contributed, you have contributed to shape the law of our country. But Neri Mutini case in Shivach Taponanka. Eronga new parliament. Finch were at some parliament. Finch. Eh? What is she doing? She just acts like he. Like, like, like uh, the headmistress at a boarding school. Eh? She thinks she's the headmistress there. Those people, Waka and Babala, they were voted by people. They go to parliament re representing people, thousands of people, which Baneri Muti can never convince. She must give them respect. Naimobe Neva HH, you must give them respect. That is in discipline. That is nonsense for Aka Indechilema. Indiscipline is what you did to go and intimidate her because you are a president. And I know, I know for sure some, some useless members of parliament will rise on point of order so that she can be punished. 
But you are turning our country into a dictatorship. That's all you are doing. You are making our country into a dictatorship. And you, Zambians, have got a responsibility to, 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 to frown upon this, to reject dictatorship. One time we should be able to protest against Neri Muti. One time we should be able to protest against Neri Muti. Because protests are part of democracy. We should start, you know, mobilizing ourselves, you know, and start protesting against some of these uh, dictatorship. I know they will refuse. I know you have confrontation with police and whatever, whatever. But sometimes uh, we must get serious. We must get upset. We should not just continue status quo, status quo. No, we should not continue. Anyway, getting back to the to getting to the question to why did I change? Because I was supporting them. Yes, I was not even saying these things. Frankly speaking, these are politics, and I even said it. You know, I'm a politics for forever. I'm a politics. You know, I, 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 I've come to learn that principle really doesn't sell in politics. <laughs> Unfortunately, principle really doesn't sell in politics, and people who are principled, people who Follow like, you know, uh, 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 the Bible. I mean, I'll talk about religion. I'll talk about, you know, Christianity, for example. Because this is what I struggle with myself. Me, I'm quite strong in terms of my religion, in terms of my Christianity. And I strive to be a good person. I strive, you know, to, to, to follow some, some morality, you know. Of course, not quite my weaknesses and especially my skate, not quite a problem. But anyway, I try to be, you know, to try to be a good person, to try and do the right thing. Now, my politics was that, you know, if you if you go with that route, the very people that you are trying to protect, they will stone you and whatever and whatever, whatever. And then, so. So, one for your point, the first point is that is, I'm describing the difficulty in politics when you talk about principle and morality. In one situation, for example, it, there are situations whereby that's what people want. And when you are a politician, it becomes very difficult to really go against the popularity. Because politics is about numbers. Politics is about the majority. So, you went, now what? Well, but this is not right. And you are a politician. To come around and say, uh-uh, not this. It's very difficult. I can give you one, one contentious issue. Is the issue of gayism. The issue of gayism. A lot of, uh, a lot of people, LGBTQ, a lot of politicians, including Waka in the Ichilema, they do recognize this issue. But Zambia, in Ghana, Zambia, you accept LGBTQ. You are in problems as a politician. So that's why you see Waka in the Ichilema. Waka America, no, we are supposed to embrace values. We are supposed to change and whatever. But I say, Zambia, Waka Salura, Waka Salura, Waka Salura, Waka Salura, of the Holy Ghost. No, we are not going to accept gayism. Eh? He, he, he's not decided. Why? Because of politics. Because popularly, Zambians, hey, issue of LGBTQ is very difficult. But at least for me, I will tell you, uh, Papa I will tell you, I will tell you that for me, I, I believe that there are people who are born differently. Me, I'm going to tell you that. I believe there are people who are born differently and we need to recognize them and we need to respect their rights. But this position, much as I have the courage to say it, how many politicians can say it? How many politicians can come out like that? There are very few. And I know some people denounce me for that. Some people denounce me for that. So you had Shupakoma politics. So in terms of then, then the other point is also your capacity. Your capacity uh, to do politics. So sometimes you find that you don't have the capacity, you know. You may not even agree with certain people. But because you don't have the capacity, because they are bigger, you accept to say, okay, if you finish achieving. So like in this case, by UPND for me. By UPND, it's not that I believed in whatever nonsense that they are doing. Because it's nonsense. 
what Hakai Dechile has been doing is nonsense. But what they did, they came heavy handed on me. My brother, I hope you are listening, the one who asked this question. My brother, they came heavy handed on me. Me, I was supporting by Edgar Lungu. And in the name of a chink as it is, I was pushing for my Edgar Lungu. I was pushing for a level of agenda. If there is a patron of a level of agenda, it's me. All these other people, they jumped in and whatever, whatever, whatever. It's okay. But really, the first person that came out with the Alevo de Rapa agenda, it's me. Even Kuri Valungu, the Valungu didn't want to come back. It's me who went and planted that in his, in his head. It's me. Valungu Tavalevo, I am a politics. He refused. It's me. I went about three times talking to Kuri Valungu to say, this is possible. Perfect Valley came. Second Valley came. Third, baby, ah, now for our language, Kati. I just went out, went out, pushed, 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 and it was flambo kumunikata away. Kanish kutifia panga sense. That's when Valungu na vela, I think, kutifia bomba. But really, I started that agenda. Now, as I was pushing for Valungu, it brought pressure to the UPND. And when the UPND got that pressure, because Valungu knows, the UPND, they know, that really, Haka in the HDM, I mean, our Edgar Lungu Tetia Wine. Haka in the HDM, Tetia Wine. They know that. And why do they know that? They know that because they stole the elections. They stole the election. But in spite of the rigging that we did, but this man managed to get 1.8. Because am I elections here, Yokumiwe Chinka? Lungwa Winari, am I elections? Because in Amatimu Konke, with all these provinces, seven provinces, Akwata 1.8. Elo Uhuksaiju, Ehe, Haka in the Ichirem, Uhisa Akwata 1 million to beat Haka in, to beat Ed Galungu. Does that make sense? In seven provinces, Ed Galungu won with 100,000 votes. In, in, in three provinces, Haka in the Ichirem won with 1 million votes. Ma votes ya kuiva. So, Haka in the HLM, I show what Yerama elections are in Vire. Mwamfwa. Haka in the HLM knows that he stole the elections. So if he stole the elections, and then we go again for another election, and Haka Afiro Kuiba, he knows that Edgar Lungu win the elections. If these things, you can argue as much as you want, you can refuse, but facts are there. Haka in the HLM knows Edgar Lungu can win an election. So what does the UPND do? But UPND, what they did, they came heavy-handed on me. Gave me a number of cases in Dara, such that I started going to court. Perfect Nalea, three days a day. Three days a week. Three days a week. Na four days a week. Sometimes Nalea, Tampa, Monday to Friday, there I could court. I'm arrested full, full. I had cases, Mwana. I was arrested within that short time. Within that short time, when I was talking about I was arrested nine times. Nine times I was arrested. So, what do I do? I had no capacity. And Balungu, then I'm telling you the truth. Balungu did not help me enough. I had lawyers, but lawyers never had in a car. They were tired because Benjamin Muro, for example, because he was like, Almost every day with me. He was not attending to other cases. Bamuelo, every day, every day, he was attending to my cases. So, sometimes one more panga my excuse. Of course, not that very panga my excuse deliberately. You know, they had other plans. So, one for Valiuku, Avena, Avena, Makebi Zulu, Avena Jonas, ah, they to you, to you, and I became powerless. I became exposed. I became exposed. There was one day in Dara, when I was in Jingisha, because I was not doing anything. I was not generating any money. In the cells that my wife came to see me, she had nothing at home. There was no food. There was no power. And we are living borrowed in Congoli. I felt so bad. After Nafuma, I went to Kuliba Lungo. Damn, she make it a query. Now I went to Kuribalu. Now I listen. Money, money. 
Barungu didn't give me money. But Esther Rungu packed things. Pia munganda. Walonga, walonga, walonga. Nama vegetables. Vampela. I'm telling you as I was going home, I felt very bad. I said, is this a situation that I've, I've reached? You know, where I have to go through this. I really felt very bad. I felt very bad and I had no lawyers. I had no lawyers, really. You know, where you can feel to say, because I'm a lawyer. 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 Oh, ah, there is, there is a matter. Oh, ah, okay. Let it stand down. Okay, I'll come later. Okay. You know, it was difficult. I was overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed. Next, what came to happen, which really changed my mind. Chris Zuman Zimba Vika. Valonga Chris Zuman Zimba. For nothing, Chris Zuman Zimba did nothing. He did nothing. They knew he had not committed any crime. But Bamu Ikata Bamu Longa Chris Zuman Zimba. Okumu Vepeshefia Gassim. He was nowhere. There was nothing. But they just wanted to get him and put him inside. I thought to myself. Apanga is changing this what has happened to Chris Zuman Zimba who happened to me. And Chris Zuman Zimba was inside. He got very little help. How you can make a person weak? I looked at Chris Zuman Zimba. He didn't get enough help. He didn't. He didn't. That is what turned my mind. I said no. And of course there were people that were talking to me. From UPND. They were telling me, Iwe, we want to work with you. Iwe, leave that man. Eh? People from State House. People from State House. I don't want to mention their names. They were talking to me. My wife left. She went to Ethiopia. She went to Ethiopia. Because of if my shan, 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 shan. And one friend. One friend from State House. Is the one that gave me money to buy a ticket and to go and bring back my wife. After he convinced me to say, come and work with us. And he told me, look, even your wife has left. So just come and work with us. And he organized money. He gave me money to go and bring back my wife. That's how I went and brought my wife. It is a UPND friend, one of my UPND friends. From State House, who helped me? Who helped me? And I went and I brought my wife. So when I came back, my wife was complaining. My wife is always against this politics. She's against to our parallel. When it comes to politics, my wife, she goes this side, I go this side. If there is a big issue that is a problem between me and my wife, it's politics. She really goes the other side, me, I go this side. And so, even when I was bringing her back, I was convincing her to say, no, 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 I'm not going to fight, I'm not going to be fighting with you, with you, with, uh, for Alebuelerapo. And she clearly told me, you, you are fighting for Alebuelerapo, Alebuelerapo, but this Alebuelerapo is just bringing problems for you. What is the point? That's how I left it, in the never fishing car. That's how I said, and when she came back, I had to. But what I did, instead of me being a praise singer, at least I went quiet. There were certain things that I came out, but see, mostly I was quiet. Mostly I was quiet. So my brother, that is how I went to UPND. I didn't go to UPND because of it is the pressure that was there and I didn't get enough help. So that is how I said, okay, let me give up. I gave up and I gave myself to UPND. And when I gave myself to UPND, I thought things are now going to be okay. We are going to work together, whatever, 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 whatever. And we discussed the cases. I told them, my brothers, me, I want to work with you. But how am I going to work with you when I'm not free in my mind? When every day, they are come court, whatever, whatever. So please, Papa, UPND, look into these cases. These cases are political. In Shai Payomuntu, I've not stolen. I've not stolen. The cases that I have are political. They are just political, that's all. And I told my friends, I met a number of people, a number of people, a number of people, but I would never mention their names here. But now I should. Yes, we discussed these, these issues. Up to Baaka in the Up 
to work in the Ichiri Mavadi Shire because some people that were coming twice were sent by Waka in the Ichiri. Now, for now, we know it. Yeah, how long between Fair Wam? Quisa, ah, Ama cases, Yaleafi, Yaleafi, Gilbert Pire, I didn't know, no, meanwhile, who consoled that Gilbert Pire, I didn't know. Are you afraid of cases yet? Are you afraid of cases yet? At the end of the day, not that Gilbert Pire was not being spoken to. He was being spoken to. Allah, he was being spoken to. And the promises were coming up to say things will be okay. Wala mdala. Iyo asoti ya isa. Asoti. A police officer I never assaulted. I was convicted. But I didn't, com I didn't commit that crime. But the good magistrate. She was under pressure to convict me. She was under pressure to convict me. She knew if she let me go, she was going to be in problems. She knew if she was going to let me go, she was going to be in problems. How do you say, Umuntu at no, a, a, a medical report? No, the medical report didn't show anything, but it is just for collaboration. People, witnesses said they saw her swollen. How can you rely on witnesses who were forced to come to police? Back up, to come and to come and testify against me. Are those witnesses you can call? These are witnesses. People who work with the, with the, with this police officer. There were no other independent witnesses apart from Baka Pokola. There was nothing independent to prove that I assaulted that police officer because even the medical report didn't prove anything. But I was convicted. But I'm sure the God that lives in that woman, that beautiful woman, she's very beautiful, by the way, a very beautiful majesty. The God who lives in that beautiful majesty said, no, okay, you will pay. You will pay 20,000 kwacha before the end of the day. If you don't pay before the end of the day, you will go in for nine months. Now, uh, it is 11 hours. Judgment. 11 hours of having a judgment. I'm a bank. If they find you, you have to go and deposit money in a bank, in a Zanako bank account. The banks close at 14 hours. And you need to get 20,000 kwacha. I, my wife started running around to look for, for that 20,000 kwacha. Valungu head of it and quickly sent a 20,000 kwacha. I was, that, that is how I paid and I came out. Now, after the appetite, what did the UPND do? What did Gilbert Piri do? He goes and appeal. Meanwhile, but as soon as I'm a case is a miuko, quite a case is a mutiny, quite a case is a yana nika de yas a chani at inchio a chani inciting uh, inciting mutiny. Then Kwasavana seditious practice, seditious intention. If my case is if cool, if you could. But what if you pushing? I said, what is this nonsense now? So now, would you, you people who like to say, no, you flip flop, you flip flop. I flip flopped, I went to UPND because UPND gave me if my case is if in gay. And I didn't get the help that I needed from, from, from the PF. And I'm saying this so that Mwishive, because Mwaite Moku be pasana, eh, ba piefu, eh, ba piefu, ba piefu, ba piefu. You like, you, you imagine things, eh, hey, balungu, balungu, eh, hey, na umpe na 500,000 kwacha. Nde miyewe fishinka pa Mwishive. Nde miyewe fishinka Mwishive. How was I supposed, how could I fight? I couldn't fight. I was let down. I was let down by ba piefu. I was let down by the PF. And the PF in the body of the If you have been there, it wouldn't have been there. If Balungu had come out at the time when I was saying, Balungu come out, Balungu come out. If you have been there, he wouldn't have done what the nonsense that he, that, that he has done. By today, the PF in the body of the state house in the name. Because he can pay to initiate the PF. He can pay to initiate the PF. By today, Barungu ngawa wa mstate house nga eche chingali kutu kama mstate house kwa tini koswe Ngali kutu kama kwa tini koswe mdari Pantu ilia haikuata fed support ala ngali kutu kama So that is what made me go to UPND Then UPND stabbed me They stabbed me in the back 
I gave myself that they couldn't embrace me. So I'm going to say, I'm going to Muleke, it's not me, it is your, your, your foolish leaders. It is your foolish leaders who could not, you know, embrace me. And nimpe na nomba, nimpe na nimpe na nde michita kantu. Nde michita kantu, nde michita kantu. Nga mulefi kwa 2026. Nga mulefi kwa 2026. Mule tolo wapona. Nde michita kantu, elo nshila atampa. Nshila atampa, nde isa. Ndei sanshira tampa. Ndei sanshira tampa wa yupi ndi. Mwala mwona. Ichale ngwezi. Ichale ngwezi soko kwa tikano kwa ta. Eh, bokos. Mwala chumona. Mwala chumona. I gave myself. I gave myself into your hands. Like somebody said that you have created a monster. But yupi ndi you have created a monster in me. I gave myself to you. Na ipera. Eh? Na ipera. What you will ever show? You will be focused on a Pablo Rubia. Now he paid, now he paid. I could him. But you will be when you, you will be when you. But you but Piri. You know when I'm on a bat, I'm on a sand bilira, I'm on a shot. I'm not in a form. I'm on a chimo. I'm on a hero. You will be Piri. Among, I'm a DPP. We want to have a fmako. I didn't agree. I didn't agree. Totally, it was nonsense. I didn't agree. Eh, uh, uyuntu anikane, si yuni, I didn't agree, but Mte Monchito, I have no issue with Mte Monchito, she was, he was just doing a job Si yuni, si yuni was one of those people who was pushing her, ama cases muli balungu But wane, whatever was happening, I didn't agree I fought, I fought for si yuni But you were Gilbert Piri When the time will come, I will be one of those people that will launch a complaint against you whether it is my, it will be malicious or whatever, whatever, if you are okay, you are a useless guy. You are a useless guy. Who is Tasha? Tau Tasha. Ala, Tau Tasha. Me, I stood by you. I stood by you. Eh? I stood by you. If, ever you know, Gana Imish, Gana Imino Muntu, Gana Imino Muntu, Fira Pangi Kamdara. Fira Pangi, I've got influence, and Musava, you are your Tarish and Jaja, Ganaku Minafi. Fila pangika. Epo na ikata. Pada mwenye kata ya ikata kuwapu. Nga na ikata periyash. Na nguniwa sorochi. Muteka nyefi. Nde chitafe spelling. Ili spelling. Ili shirefo kulanda sana. Pantu. <laughs> na ine palasti kutu wa sanga. Chan chan chan. But otherwise. <laughs> sorochi nga ninku imisha. Kanti uwe nomba. Nde, nde kucharira. Nde, nde randa ami komanda. Nde kushamo. Nde kushamu pantu na inendi mwa ume You know mwa ume Mwa ume tali ngo kwe minu mwa ume muna mkwe sana Kui wera mu So nde kushamu But nga nini kui mina So you are Gilbert Piri You are Gilbert Piri Ao Tuwakula tuwakula pitamu Tuwakula pitamu Ninji shuma mule mfuwa Ifi njela nda paso mule mfuwa But mwe pelefe you won't get me You won't get me Instead it's you I'm going to get And I'm telling you I'm promising you It's you I'm going to get it's you I'm going to get. I gave myself to you. So anyway, my brother, now now we cut off your power. A power soft. I'm just telling you why I came back to my UPND. And they have come full throttle. They came with full throttle. Eh? You steal things, you get things. Who is going to, 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 to give me those, back those things that you that you took? Eh? And some of you, you have eh? You have a Beyonce. You have shani shani. You have a Beyonce. You have a I always pray that you know I don't have I don't have to be vengeful, and I know some of you police officers. Vambi tu mafie, ni buungwele fie, mu mu you ni mu owa kuwe. You are bloody cowards. Some of you police officers, you are bloody cowards. You know that what you are, what is happening is the wrong thing, but you can't you can't do anything. Mule tina, but it's okay, it's okay. I do understand you. I do understand you. I will be in government, but I will not come for you. So basically, that is why I changed. That is why I changed. Now, so 
What is my agenda now? My agenda now, haka inde ichi ni mafuro kuya. That is the, that is my agenda. Haka inde ichi ni mafuro kuya. Afuro kuya, afuro kuya, no kufuro, afuro kuya, pamitu na afirwa. Na afirwa, echo afuro kuya. Elo na kwa ta, you know, he wants, he's using the state insurance. Echo mpa tire sana ina haka inde ichi ni. I'm not even pretending. Echo mpa tire haka inde ichi ni ma, because he's using the state institutions. Instead of using himself, eh? he's using state institutions. He's destroying Makapogola. He's destroying Ama courts. He's destroying parliament. So where are we? Where, where are we? What has remained of us? If a president messes up the police, messes up the courts, messes up parliament, what has remained? Don't even talk about parastatos. So where is our country remaining? I'm a minds, I'm a teacher. I will talk about these things. How can they change minds? Buying those minds. He's getting those minds. I told you that you won't really have a way that. I can't full throttle. Full throttle to privatize the country. How can they change minds? doesn't even care whether he's going to win my elections in 2026. Because he's going to make sure that the economy of the, of the country is in his hands. He's in his hands. Whoever is going to take over, he has to make sure that he liberates Zambia from Haka in the Ichirima because Haka in the Ichirima, the same way that he did privatization, that is what he's doing. Anyway, I'm responding to your answers. I'm responding to your question why I moved away. Now, let me talk about Sean Tembo. And in their land, our table, our table. You know, Bayat Karungu Bali Kwatama weaknesses here. And even if in and there and there are you are able to pick the weaknesses. You are able to pick the weaknesses. PF is where it is today because of Bayed Galungu. If Bayed Galungu had come out at the right time, the situation wouldn't be the, wouldn't be the way it is. If Bayed Galungu had come out at that time, when the iron was hot, if he had come out, the situation wouldn't be where it is. Bayed Galungu, but he was slow. But he was slow mku pushing a finto. And that is his character anyway. Tawari pusana. Ine na ba Edgar Ungu natu pusana. Ine na adiba fast in that. Na adiba fast kiri kiti kiri kiti. Sometimes nda fuma na offside. Of course. Everything has got its positive side. But Ungu ba adiba slow. Ine na adiba fast. But wasanga ti muli fast ya andi sometimes nda fuma offside. Na fi penya. But Ungu ba adiba slow. Muli slowness ya wona wo. You know, there is something that is good. You know, he when he makes a decision, it is a good decision. But sometimes it's too slow, such that he, he allows the foolishness of people uh, of of, of Mao Sampa to manifest. You see the difference. He's slow, and in his slowness, sometimes yes, it's good. He handles things carefully, but sometimes he's too slow, such that he allows foolishness to happen, like the foolishness which was happening when we had Galungo was in state house. But Kalungu, when he was in state house, people talk about the corruption, 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 corruption. Tamata la unfapo umuntu umo uwa lumbra wa Edgarungu in corruption. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.